if you're wondering how to structure your Facebook ad campaigns after all the iOS 14 craziness and the old way of doing things is not working right now, then watch this video because this is actually coming directly from Facebook. So our Facebook rep has sent us this deck so we can help you guys structure your campaigns for success. <laughs> There are five campaigns here, ideally to be implemented for e-commerce brands, but you don't need to implement all five of them. So in a minute, I'm going to walk you through the different alternatives. But first, I'm going to explain each of them. The first one is a remarketing campaign, meaning that we will target warm or hot audiences with a catalog sales campaign type, meaning that we are going to retarget previous um, visitors, in this case, people who had uh, abandoned the cart or viewed products, again, abandoned the cart or only viewed some products, we are going to retarget them dynamically with the products that they viewed or abandoned in the cart, right? So it will be super relevant. With a conversions campaign type, which is not this one, this is the catalog sales campaign type, but with a conversions campaign type, we can show them what we want to show them, right? But in this case, we are going to show them what they want to see based on their past browsing behavior. So that's relevant for them. So what they propose is that we target again, those who viewed the products or added the products to cart. So when you go and create the catalog sales campaign type, you can actually choose really easily, it's really straightforward, those who viewed or abandoned the cart for, I don't know, it could be uh, the last 14 or 30 days. I couldn't do it like the past day unless you have thousands of thousands uh, of people doing that every day. I couldn't choose, I, I could choose like probably 14 or 30 days, right? To stay relevant. So basically that, that's what they recommend for all the campaign types that we are going to talk about here. The budgets are daily and we need to exclude the previous buyers here, right? We don't want to include those who actually bought items. So we want to exclude the, 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 those who uh, bought. And what we can show to them is actually carousels or collections, still with the catalog, still dynamic products that you will show, but you can show instead of one, you can choose a carousel, a collection, right? But not one. So they have more options to choose from. Campaign number two is also a catalog, but in this case, we are going to target broad or cold audiences, right? So we are only going to limit them, but geolocalization and gender and age, but we are going to show them the whole catalog, no interest whatsoever, no lookalike audiences. It's a broad audience limited only by location, age and gender and it will be again cold audiences so we have two catalogs right now one for cold audiences and one for warm and hot audiences okay the third campaign we are going to use is a conversions campaign for um remarketing right so we are going to build custom audiences right that we can uh i don't know we can upload the list or we can choose uh, those who have visited our website, we can choose different warm audiences and those are the ones that we are going to target. Again, something that is a common denominator for all these campaigns is to exclude those who bought or those who added to cart, as you can see in this line, right? And again, what we're going to show is a carousel. It can be with or without a catalog, collection, video, or whatever, right? The fourth campaign is another conversions campaign, but in this case, it will be targeting cold audiences using the lookalike audience or lookalike audiences, right? So in the first conversions campaign, I mentioned the previous campaign, uh, it was for warm audiences, retargeting. This is for cold audiences, those who have never heard of you using lookalike campaigns. The, the final campaign, right? The last campaign we're going to create is a conversions campaign targeting cold audiences, this time using interests, right? So again, not lookalikes, not retargeting. This is cold campaigns using interest, right? It is to have 
like a big audience still, not like a few thousands, like hundreds of thousands or millions, but with interest, right? And again, we are going to target them with a carousel, with a video collection, or even a catalog, right? So we have five campaigns, two catalog sales, one remarketing, one cold, one conversions campaign for warm audiences, and the other two conversions campaigns for cold audiences with lookalikes or interest. Now, you may say, Brian, how much should I need to spend for having such a structure, like five campaigns? That's why I said, you can start with some of these efforts or you can even merge some of these. For instance, you have two cold campaigns with a conversions um, objective, right? So you can have actually one conversions campaign with two ad sets or more, interest and lookalikes in the other ad set, or you can have some for lookalikes and some for interest. I would recommend starting small and then you can always expand. So you can have one conversions campaign, CBO, lookalike, one ad set, interest, the other ad set, and that's it. And then you can have another three campaigns for the worm and then the, the other catalog campaigns. If you feel like that's still not enough for your budget, you can still you can start smaller. You can say, hey, I'm going to probably start only with some, I don't know, with a catalog sales campaign to see what sticks and what people want. And then I'm going to start with a, with a warm and hot catalog campaign. And those are two campaigns I'm going to run. Or I want to do a third campaign and I will leave the conversions campaign, the warm conversions campaign uh, aside for a sec. So you can play with this. I'm giving you the full structure and then you can decide what's best for you. Of course, if you don't know what you're doing or you feel that you need to put your head and your mind and your time where it's worth it for your business and working on your business and let other people do what they know how to do best, in this case, Facebook ads, then you can always reach out. You can always reach out at hello at bsrdigital.com. We offer free account assessments or audits to actually help you get on track. And then if you feel that it's a good fit and you can you want to hire us, you can do it. But these audit is like actually no strings attached whatsoever. So you can find more information in the video comments and description. And as always, leave your comments if you have questions and feel free to reach out. Okay. Thank you and see you in the next video. Thank you.